Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon D800 and Canon 700D. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon D800 and the Canon 700D are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 11th of June 2012 and the 10th of June 2013. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D800. For portrait photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Canon 700D. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon D800 and the Canon 700D. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon D800. And here are some sample photos from the Canon 700D. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D800. I have been using the D800 for several months, and I have found it to be a great upgrade from my D300. The control layout is an improvement, and I enjoy using DX lenses with it. The ISO quality is impressive, and the metering is much better. Live view is a vast improvement, and the autofocus is fast and dependable. Overall, I am very happy with my D800 purchase, and I would highly recommend it. This Nikon D800 camera has impressed me very much. It offers HD video capability, excellent handling with the Mica vertical battery pack, and the ability to do image processing right in the camera. I can still use all my older Nikon AF lens, and the 36 megapixels FX chip provides exceptional image quality. However, it has a lot of features, so it takes time to learn and fully utilize them. Overall, it's a superlative camera for portraits, product, architectural, and scenic photography. Here's what people have to say about the Canon 700D. I bought the camera brand new, and it was great at the time with 18M pixels and lots of features. The newer T7i only has a 15% improvement in pixels and some minor upgrades, but loses the stereo microphone and external microphone input. I don't think the upgrade is worth it, and I'm still very happy with my purchase. I am absolutely thrilled with this camera. It has become an extension of me, and I never leave home without it. I bought the body separately to stick to my budget and have been able to use my old lenses with great results. The 50mm 1.8 lens is a must-have for beginners and takes beautiful, effortless shots. The camera works well with cheaper lenses and I can't wait to build up to higher quality ones. I have had no complaints and highly recommend this camera to anyone who enjoys taking photos. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon D800 we will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Canon 700D. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 